Caribbean Public Health Agency calls on the region to focus on childhood obesity. Government emphasizes crop diversification and the Information Minister condemns the use of technology for malicious intent. Welcome to this edition of National Focus. I'm Johnny Hector. And I'm moving Matthews to be first for details of the headline stories and others after this. If you can believe this, why can't you believe this? Uncle tried to make me have sex. Some mothers don't believe their own children when they say they've been sexually abused and they don't report it. Remember, if anyone asks to see or touch their private parts, touches them inappropriately, shows them or forces them to touch one's private parts, has sex with them, shows them pornographic material, or deliberately lets them hear or see the act of sex, then it is sexual abuse. Believe your child and report the sexual abuse. For more information about child abuse, contact these agencies. This message brought to you by UNICEF and this station. Thank you for staying with us. The Independent Regulatory Commission, the IRC, says it is guided by government's policy on renewable energy. According to the Electricity Supply Act, it is government's policy to foster a safe, efficient, affordable and low-carbon national electricity supply that meets international quality standards. The Act also includes the development of domestic renewable energy sources. The policy of our mandates the Commission and DOMLEC, where it requires DOMLEC to demonstrate that this expansion planning is least cost, and based on best practices in expansion planning as required by the license. And then furthermore, the Act itself provides a duty on the Commission to ensure the security and efficiency of the supply of electricity in Dominica through the conduct of efficient long-term planning and having due regard to future potential generation sources such as geothermal and wind energy. This past Friday, the IRC held a consultation with Domlek and other stakeholders to discuss the electricity company's rate of return for the next tariff period. Domlek's rate of return will determine the tariff for electricity consumers from 2015 to 2017. In keeping with government's policy, Morgan concluded that the IRC is open to reviewing the tariff when geothermal energy becomes available within this tariff period. Government expects the commercial production of geothermal energy by 2017. A crop diversification is being widely promoted by government as it seeks to enhance the agricultural sector in Dominica. The Honorable Minister for Agriculture, Johnson Drago, says government is putting significant effort into the production of root crops. He was speaking on Focus on Government and Development Radio program last Thursday. Vexa is presently implementing a program to um, <clears throat> establish 200 acres of dashing, 150 acres of plantain, and 26 acres of hot pepper, as we speak at this time. So I'm saying to the farmers out there, those who are not aware, that tomorrow morning, they can go to the extension the, um, um, officer in their area, or they can come down to the Excel and register as we speak for um, I'm, I'm entering into this program. And the is providing 75% of the fertilizer for this program as part of increasing production and productivity. And there has been an increase in the number of, of farmers now cultivating white potatoes. There are 142 farmers cultivating white potatoes on the island as we speak. Over 986 bags of white potato plant were distributed to farmers for this season, which will be coming in in April and May. And the farmers are excited about going into these new crops because they are high in cash crop. The government, through its horticulture program, is assisting yam farmers in the drive to expand the agriculture industry. Increased onion production is also on the agenda. There are several areas, as we speak, where onions are being um, um, cultivated. And the intention is to expand the number of acreage with support of organizations like ICA so that we can have a wider share in the onion market because we import 
millions of dollars worth of onion annually in Dominica. So the ministry is heightening its effort as we speak to increase the acreage of onions on the island to meet some of the, the to cut down the import of, of, of onion. From 2000, the Labour Party administration has embarked on a series of policies and programs to ensure that agriculture remained an important sector to the economy. Primary among them was the policy of diversification and increasing production for export. The Ministry of Agriculture is preparing for the arrival of banana plantlets from France. 40,000 plantlets are being brought into Dominica in an effort to supply bananas to the UK market. Honorable Minister of Agriculture Johnson Drago says the plantlets will be on island during the week of April 4th. The ministry is rapidly preparing for these plantlets. They will be placed at the Smart Greenhouse facility built by the Chinese in a one mile in Portsmouth. Additionally, uh, we have technical assistance for the banana and planting sub sector through the BAM, the Banana and Company Measures. So we have a consultant here um, who is attached to the Ministry of um, Agriculture, Mr. Fevrier from St. Lucia, and he will be here over the next six, six months, and his mandate is to assist in the revitalization of the banana and planting sub sector. Specific farmers will be targeted to prepare these plants for the export market. These plants meet the specification of rain, rain fresh um, um, export market, the plants that, that, that we, we are bringing. Additional farmers will continue to get the support that they will be getting, but because these plants um, will need extra care coming through the tissue culture um, 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 structure, we would have to select farmers who are best suited for um, um, planting these plants and carrying these plants to ensure that uh, they will, down the line, be able to provide plants now for our additional farmers so we can get the, 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 the banana industry back, back on, it, on its feet again. So the Ministry of Health and Environment wishes to advise the general public that smoke inhalation may trigger an asthmatic attack and worsen respiratory symptoms of persons suffering from respiratory illnesses. Hence, residents in the vicinity of the landfill in Fokole who are suffering from asthma and other respiratory illnesses are asked to take the following precautions. Avoid the inhalation of the smoke fumes coming from the landfill by staying away from the area. Any asthmatics affected by smoke inhalation should use their prescribed inhalers and if symptoms worsen, they should report to the Accident and Emergency Department at the Princess Margaret Hospital for an assessment and further medical attention. Persons suffering from other respiratory illnesses with worsening symptoms as a result of the smoke fume should also report immediately to the Accident and Emergency Department at the Princess Margaret Hospital. President of the Dominica State College, Dr. Donald Peters, has welcomed the efforts to establish the Center of Excellence and Innovation at the DSC campus. Addressing the signing ceremony for the renovation and refurbishment of the ICT Center last week, he indicated that the center, once complete, is expected to allow for more certified courses to be offered at the Dominica State College. Dr. Peters is pleased that the government of Dominica has taken up the offer to house the center at the old wing of the Dominica State College. In modern the 21st century in higher education, no university or college can call themselves a true institution of higher education without community effort and community partnerships. And by community, we mean partnerships with, telecom, with industry, with the neighborhoods, with the people of Dominica, with the legislators, and with government. And um, because as a national institution, our responsibility is to create opportunity for training and education that will help our country develop. So it is with great pleasure and, of course, with excitement that we at the college accept and welcome the partnership with the Ministry of Telecommunications and the people and the Republic of India for, to create a center in, in um, telecommunications and a center of excellence for telecommunications. The center will offer training in subject areas relevant to the needs of Dominica in a technologically advancing world. These include Java Basic and Advanced, Software Business Processes, Basic and Advanced Linux, 
project management, communication and networking, web designing and applications. Dr. Peters says the ICT Center for Excellence will be a valued component to increase competence and demonstrate the school's leadership in the ICT field. He added that the DSC is committed to enhancing national development. This college is only 14 years old and already we are way ahead of our colleagues in the OECS and we will be the first one of a partner, international partnership including a foreign government, the national government and the state college. So we are very excited about that prospect but as Mr. P.S. pointed out and both P.S. is that it cannot be a center of excellence unless we produce excellent students and excellent outcomes. Um, we, are, we, are cons we, are, we know that is one of our responsibility. We take it very seriously and we want to do everything in our powers to ensure that when we produce graduates from this college that they are equipped to help our country develop. Work is anticipated to begin on the ICT Center this week. The $292,000 project is a collaborative effort between the government of Dominica and the Republic of India. The government of Dominica is working to provide greater access to technology throughout the country and ensure that citizens are properly trained and competent in the use and management of ICT tools. Honorable Kel Vadaro, Minister for Information Science, Telecommunications and Technology, has condemned the use of technology for malicious intent. Addressing a signing ceremony at the State College last Monday, Honorable Dara encouraged all nationals to stand clear of malice and defamation and instead promote national development. Too many times we have used technology in a destructive way. And as the minister responsible for ICT, I take strong off offense against these things, particularly when we use the technology to, de to, de to degrade our people, to lower our value system, and to cause, to cause individuals out there in society to feel less of themselves. We have to use the social media to promote Dominica, to promote what is ours, what is positive, what is good. But sometimes we use it in a destructive way, and I want to strongly condemn it. The Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, has created a regional task force to develop a plan of action to address childhood obesity and provide a comprehensive public health response. CARFA held a news briefing on Friday to update the public on public health issues affecting the region. Executive Director of CAFA, Dr. C. James Hospitalis, said that at a consultation meeting last week with Caribbean heads of government, obesity was placed high on the agenda. A major focus was put on healthier food environments given the epidemic of non-communicable diseases uh, and obesity. Someone who is overweight or obese has higher lifetime health costs, approximately 50% more, and in fact a shorter life because of the problems with diabetes and heart disease, cancer and so on, that become commoner. And so a report was received on that. In her address, Helen Roy, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, stated that Dominica has benefited significantly from partnership with CAFA. Dominica has benefited greatly and will continue to access all possible opportunities to advance the public health agenda. We have received tremendous support through capacity building training, health system support, laboratory strengthening, support for specific programs like chronic non-communicable diseases, including cancer, vector control, among several others. Actually, CAFA, together with Pan American Health Organization, was strong supporters to our activities in addressing the recent chikungunya and Ebola alerts. CAFA is an integral part of the Regional Development Plan recently adopted by the CARICOM Heads of Government. Dr. Rudolph Cummings, Program Manager in Health Sector Development for the CARICOM Secretariat, noted that CAFA is the first phase of a reform process and the meeting held to tackle obesity is only the beginning. CARFA in itself rep rep represents the first form, the, the first part of the reform process which the heads have asked for because of the fact that 
within the health sector of the region, we have been able to merge these five regional health institutions into one. We have other challenges, and at this meeting, they have been able to lay out plans to address in specifically the issue of childhood obesity, which among regional health professionals, it is believed, if not conquered, will continue to fuel the epidemic of obesity. GIS News will bring you more on that meeting in a subsequent newscast. And that's the English News. Macpherson St. Louis is next with the Creole Highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Nous, moi, c'est Macpherson St. Louis. Premièrement, Independent Regulatory Commission IRC, qui a gardé plan d'Omlec voué par eux. Compagnie Sala qui a gardé plan la bien poué pour faire détermination rate pour compagnie là. Parole ça la sorti de l'Office Régulation IRC, M. Francis Paul, qu'on consultation pour place à ce ça semaine passée. Domlec ni un plan pour invest euh passe les dio formal venir on y pour on y pour connect pour pour chayer il a voulu. So um ça nous ni actuellement là avec 7 megawatt ou pas sans ni chayer comme ça on est pour faire différents bagages so ou ça chayer. So um ça qu'a fait tout ça dans le cas invest il ca affecté rate là so nous même ni pour voir ça ça yo ca invest nous mettez en en meilleur temps ou pas ni ou pas sans ni mettez tout ensemble et si vous mettez tout ensemble il ça affecté rate là so nous 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 voulez nous proposer ça nous te que voulez voir puis euh avec nous voulez tant ça d'autres monde ca dit en en là on a une nouvelle Dominique qui est intéressante à Pays de Gré Université, l'autre pays, qui a tapé à vie pour contacter Accreditation Board Dominique avant de faire l'application. Parole sur la sortie de l'exécutif direct, M. Rock Bruno, au ligne de 4 degrés institutions qui a offert. Et si vous avez fait des études dans les domaines comme biologie, euh, chimie, physique, euh, engineering, construction, Leuni ça yo ka ki en anglais laboratories ou besoin plus tant encore parce que ou ke besoin même 360 crédits là mais chaque crédit leuni en lab ça ça veut dire 45 heures donc pour taper un, un bachelor's degree en chimie par exemple ou supposé ni 360 crédits mais multiplié par 45 heures donc avec information ça nous savoir comme c'est 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 pas difficile mais c'est pas c'est pas tout de suite ou quand ni pour euh, taper certification ça ni diplôme ça donc nous ca verti dominicain pour toujours en garde pour en garde et là on est doute si euh, institution en bon condition en bon état ou pas tout ce qu'il faut faire c'est passer en bureau national accreditation board là et nous là nous que baso baio toute sorte d'information on a couvert dominique ça expecte pour voir les in géothermique en opération par l'année 2017 par votre salaire sorti haut ministre énergie honorable ian douglas honorable douglas fait par votre salaire pour un meeting interreg 4b projet projet compagnie Salam c'est continuation travail pour garder potentiel plan géothermique en Watton Haven ça c'est entre l'année 2008 pour l'année 2009 Dominique déjà tapé succès ou là il a testé c'est tout là qui ca produire énergie géothermique là il aussi chain assessment sensibiliser public là contre projet là et puis implication Dominique bâti un petit plan 6.8 megawatts pour un plus gros appoint qui a une capacité pour ba la Guadeloupe et Martinique Energy Holding. Si le ministre Douglas puis il a déjà dépensé plus que 54 millions de dollars la journée à ce projet là. Et puis finalement Dominique Cabanche et puis Western pays pour moi francophonie qui a célébré moi cela. Public là a avisé pour parler langage créole et puis français plus. Madame Sonia Akpa, c'est coordinateur national francophonie en Dominique. Ça me que vous voulez, vous voulez, c'est 
plus monde servir langue créole et la langue française en Dominique. Puis moi j'ai toujours dit Dominique c'est un pays qui a mis en des pays français, Guadeloupe et puis Martinique. Il n'y a pas qui a voyagé tout le temps, votre Martinique et Guadeloupe. En Dominique, il n'y a autant de Dominique qui n'y a famille Guadeloupe et avec Martinique. Quand ça m'a dit que vraiment, je voulais voir um, plus de monde parler, c'est des langues ça là. Mais ce n'est pas yon, yon seul um, moun, yon seul ministère qui a fait ça, c'est tout le monde qui n'y a fait. Tout le monde a éducation, moun a santé, agriculture, parce qu'il n'y a pas d'échange entre tous ces secteurs là et vers euh, Moun Guadeloupe Martinique et même France et d'autres pays francophones. Mais c'est mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle en créole pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Mac Fousson saint Au revoir. We're all guilty of using the same words repeatedly sometimes, but there's no harm in learning new ones. Tips on expanding your vocabulary next. Wash your hands. I am Adora Toussaint, health educator from the Ministry of Health. Proper hand washing protects against the spread of many common illnesses and germs. Wash your hands often with soap and water, or you may use a hand sanitizer. Remember, clean hands save lives. Protect yourself. A message from the health promotion of the Ministry of Health. The more you read, especially novels and literary works, but also magazines and newspapers, the more words you'll be exposed to. As you read and uncover new words, try to derive meaning from the context of the sentence and employ a dictionary to confirm the definition. Use whatever version you prefer, in print, software or online. But when you uncover a new word, look it up in the dictionary to get both its pronunciation and its meaning. Next, go to the Physerus and find similar words and phrases. A great option is to get a suitable app you can use on the go. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow our Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News Desk, I'm Mervyn Matthew. And I'm John Hector. Thank you for watching and join us again next time on National Focus. <music>